consequences or how long they're going to last. We got the Middle East mess now because Abraham could not wait on God. Sarah had a handmaid named Hagar. The Bible says she didn't get pregnant. God promised the son. They couldn't wait. Take the Egyptian Hagar, have the baby. That baby was called Ishmael. He is the progenitor of every Arab on this earth. Then he finally got Isaac, who's the Jew. And because of Abraham's nonsense, we got the Middle East today. You can pick your sin. Go ahead. But you can never pick the consequence of that sin or how long that consequence is going to last. So here's the challenge. If you're not going to be right for yourself, be right for your children. If you're not going to be obedient for yourself, do it for your grandchildren. Because throughout the Bible, when God got mad at people many times, he wouldn't judge the person. You think you got away? I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. You think you got away with it? When Adam sinned, Abel got killed. When Pharaoh sinned, his firstborn child got killed. When David sinned against Bathsheba, the baby died. Sometimes the judgment can be this. God will let you live to see. Your sin on your grandchildren or your children and let you live long enough to see it. Don't curse your family. Don't curse your legacy. Don't curse. Be obedient. Repent. Get it right. Yeah. If you